Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and please do subscribe if you like what you see. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my 5 step wash day routine and since we are all stuck at home, we have a lot more time to spend on our hair and we are going into the winter months here in South Africa and in the colder climate, our hair tends to be a bit more dry and it needs a bit more moisture, love, rehydration, TLC and that's exactly what we'll be doing today. So the first step in this five step routine is a hot oil treatment which will also serve as a pre-poo treatment. Firstly we're going to put some coconut oil. Now I'm not measuring anything, I'm just putting and I know how much I need for my hair so you need to figure out how much you need for your hair. And for olive oil I'm also just putting, 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 giving my hair all the goodness that it needs. Then you're going to take your oil, so you're going to place it into a bigger bowl with warm water to melt the oil and to heat it up so it penetrates even deeper into your strands. Please do not heat your oil in the microwave because this will change the properties of the oil. Alright guys, so this is what my hair looks like. Right after I wake up, there's no water in my hair. It's been in a high puff for days. It hasn't been washed in more than a week. My hair is dry and it needs some moisture. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So first up, I'm actually going to spray my hair with warm water. So I've already done that. You can see my hair looks a bit more alive. And then I'm going to section my hair and I'm going to get ready to apply the oil. I'm going to apply the oil firstly to my scalp. And then I'm going to run my fingers through my hair, detangling it very gently, working the oil all the way through my hair, coating every single strand. Now the hot water that we put on my hair will also help to open up the cuticle so that the oil can penetrate even deeper and also the oil that we heat up. As you can see here, on this side I have the hair that's already been coated with the oil. You can see it's a lot more moisturized, there's a lot less frizz and my curls are already defined simply by putting in the oil compared to the other side which is still a dry mess. Okay guys, so I'm just applying this all over and as you can see, this oil already defines my hair so, so, so nicely and I'm just making sure to get every last bit of that oily goodness and then I'm just applying it all over. Make sure to get your edges guys, we don't want to lose our edges and then I'm making sure that I coat my ends as well because as you know, the ends are the driest part of the hair. It grew first. And so it's been on your head for the longest and it needs the most attention. So make sure that you coat your edges and your ends. We don't want to lose our edges and we don't want split ends. Alright. And then I'm just making sure that I'm coating every single strand of my hair with this lovely oily goodness. Now I'm going to put my hair up into just a very loose high puff. I don't want any tension, unnecessary tension on my edges. And now we're going to cover our hair. To do so, I'm using my spa, good for you, plastic bag, like always. And this is just going to trap in the heat that my scalp will generate. And it's going to allow the oils to penetrate into my hair strands even further. I'm going to allow this to sit with the plastic cap on my hair for 30 minutes while I just do things around the house. But feel free to do this pre-poo the night before your wash day and just let it sit in your hair overnight. Alright, so now we are hopping into the shower and we will be rinsing out this oil with warm water. And you're going to make sure to rinse this oil out completely because I don't like the feeling of oily hair. Like I love what the oil does for my hair. But after this wash day I want clean hair, I want a clean scalp. So I'm just going to make sure to run the water all over my hair and I'm going to run my fingers through my hair as well just to make sure that my hair stays detangled. Firstly, I'm going in with conditioner guys. I know, shocker. Who does conditioner before shampoo? I do. And the conditioner I'm using is the Intensive Hydration Conditioner from the Manuka Honey line by Shea Moisture. And guys, I make sure to put a lot. You put, put, put. And I put this all over my hair. I focus it on my ends, not my scalp. 
and the reason why I'm doing conditioner before doing shampoo is because I want to properly detangle my hair before I add shampoo because if you add shampoo to tangled hair you're basically drying out the tangles and it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to go in with conditioner and detangle your hair after that and you're going to have a lot more breakage and a lot more hair loss and we don't want that so conditioner first comb your hair through make sure your hair is detangled and then this conditioner will also serve as another layer of pre poo to make sure that your hair is not completely stripped after you shampoo now i'm going to go ahead and with lukewarm water still rinse out all of the conditioner all of the oils my whole entire pre poo and as i'm doing this I am being very careful to run my fingers still through my hair to make sure that my hair stays nice and detangled. Now I'm going in with the shampoo from the same brand. And for shampoo, I don't use a whole lot, but I focus this on my scalp. Okay, healthy hair starts with a clean scalp, guys. Don't neglect your scalp. Shampoo your scalp. Now, as you know, I don't shampoo every single wash day. I shampoo once a month and the other wash days I will go in with a co-wash. But today we are shampooing and I'm making sure to really clean my scalp using my fingertips. I'm not using my nails. I'm not scratching. I'm just gently rubbing it with my fingertips. Oh, guys, this felt so nice. And what I noticed about this specific shampoo is that it's not drying. When I rinsed my hair out, my hair was clean, but it did not feel stripped, which is something I love, and that is because this is, of course, a sulfate-free shampoo. And I love the way that it suds up and gives you a lot of foam. I love that in a shampoo because then I feel like my hair is squeaky clean, but normally with sulfate-free shampoos, it's very difficult for it to sud up like this. So I was pleasantly surprised, guys. I really like the shampoo. And of course, like the rest of this line, the, the product smells amazing. I really enjoy that shampoo. Very important, guys. Please make sure to rinse this shampoo thoroughly out of your hair. You do not want to leave here with shampoo still in your hair. That's going to be very drying. Next, I'm going in with the Jamaican Black Castor Oil for my scalp as well as the deep conditioner from the same line for the rest of my hair. So I'm applying this Jamaican Black Cast Oil to my scalp before I apply the deep conditioner and this is just because this oil is specially made for hair growth. It stimulates hair growth and I put this all over my scalp. I'm not putting the oil on my hair because I haven't put any product in my hair to seal in and oil is a sealant so you put that on your hair after product but I'm putting it on my scalp now I'm going in with the deep conditioner and guys I'm not shy with this product okay I'm focusing I'm focusing it on my ends and I'm just putting it all over and I'm working it through my hair and one thing I've noticed about the conditioner as well as the deep conditioner from this line is that it doesn't have a lot of slip and that's something I've noticed with all of the conditioners from Shea Moisture. So it doesn't have a lot of slip. So when detangling your hair, I have to be very careful not to rip through tangles. But what I can say is that these products are very, very moisturizing. So whenever I apply it to my hair, I let it sit on my hair and I rinse it out. My hair is moisturized and my hair is hydrated. So... Overall, these products get a thumbs up from me. And of course, the smell is amazing, which is something that's very important for me for natural hair products. I want my hair to smell amazing. And then I'm just making sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled once again, because after this deep conditioning step, I will be putting my hair into a protective style. It will not be part of this video, because I already have a whole video on my channel about how I protect my hair during lockdown. So please make sure to have a look at that video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's it for this video today, guys. Bye!